Hey guys, this is Mr. Free. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we did a load of off screen grinding, which you didn't see, and we opened those like funny chests. Uh, there's only one of those chests, well, two of those chests in the game that are like that. Uh, because unfortunately, we're not going to be able to come back to this place once we've uh, been through here, which is a bit of a shame. So, you don't want to miss anything. This place done for. Sonny's find out who's done this. And there we go, a little bit of... Uh, it's a fiend there, guys. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember that. Uh, Walker and Riku having a little bit of, like, heart-to-heart -heart there. You know, actually building the... Well, not that, kind of Walker putting aside the whole, you know, she's an Albed, but you know, he's been friends for a, you know, for a period of time anyway, type thing. Doesn't matter. And we will well, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm not gonna edit out this fight because it's a uh, scripted encounter and you're getting counter attacked. Six thousand. Oh, I think Tita's got another strength plus four. Uh, she's using our bed potion because we've got 86, bloody hell. I didn't realise he stacked up that much. Right, you're going down. Right, steal some more Arctic Winds. Oh, Lightning Marbles. I'll take them. Nothing. I've still got that Lightning Proof on. That is proven. That is proving to be effective. Characters are starting to. Um, grow quite nicely now. They're going to start separating some of them for a bit in terms of like, well I suppose they are, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but eventually they're all going to like end up being the same kind of thing, right? Nothing up here, let's keep moving down. Riku, what is the Summoner's Sanctum? The Summoner's Sanctum is where we keep the Summoners. We keep them safe there. You kidnapped them. I know it's against the teachings and all that. I get why you did it, but... Well, I sure don't get it, Waka. They might get hurt on their pilgrimage. So you kidnapped them? I mean, if the summoners don't do their job, then who will beat Sin? You want to protect them, I know. But Guardians are there for that. If Guardians do their job well... Summoners will be safe. Right? Right? It's quiet. Kimari goes now. first time I watched this I was like what's going on what why is everyone and then this the uh, two Zanakin themes kicked in it's a beautiful piece of piano work they all know something we don't Song plays for a little bit. What have we, have we got? Anything there? Uh... Oh, got a chest there. Level four key sphere. Oh, that's cool. 
I haven't even got a level 3 one yet. Jeez. Just me, just me think I've missed one. Oh, I thought it was going to be a level 3. That would have been cool. But yeah, this tune's so cool. Here we go, guys. The plot thickens. Sending. Hey, um, what's sacrificed? The Albed said summoners were being sacrificed. That summoners shouldn't have to do a pilgrimage. Why couldn't they trust guardians to protect the summoners? The Albed had no right stopping their pilgrimage. The pilgrimages have to stop. If they don't, and they get to Xanarkand, they might defeat Sin. Yuni could, but then she... Yuni will die, you know? You know, don't you? Summoner's journey to get the final Aeon. Yuna told you, didn't she? With the final Aeon, she can beat Sin. And then... But then... If she calls it, then the final Aeon's gonna kill her. Even if she defeats Sin, it will kill Yuni too, you know? I was Tidus now, I'd be freaking out. I'd be well pissed off.
anarchy together. Let's beat sin. I told her all the things. Good, good. And all along, the whole time, I didn't know anything. Yuna, she, she just smiled. Flashbacks like to those. Hey, you got pretty good. You know, all those times when I said the second time you see them, it's always yeah, more. You now you me? know what's the story. Well, I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know? <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah, I understand. Right. Now, let's see what you can do. Yeah, at least they uh, muted the audio this time. But yeah, quite a big turn of events, really. Still need to find her though. So yeah, huge, well, huge piece of plot there, unraveled. So we've known all along that Yuna's gone to, you know, journey into summon the final Leon, but when she summons it, it's going to kill her. So all those times, you know, I don't know. And this is where we leave in home now. Yeah, so all those times where Tidus was saying, you know, all the things she could have done after she defeated Sen, it just... Where's Yuna? As I knew how put. Everyone on board. Everyone alive. I said, where is she? Uh oh. Answer me. Answer me, damn you. What do you do when you find her, eh? I, I, I didn't know anything about what a summoner is is supposed to do. And I told her all those things without even knowing. I've got to tell her. I've got to tell her I'm sorry. That's it? You're going to tell her you're sorry? And then you just drag her to Zanakin and make her fight Sheen, huh? You're all the same. Let the summoner die so we can live in peace. No! I'm... I'm not gonna let Yuna die! No 
no chance. Show me action. I'm telling you, she won't die. Boy, don't forget those words. Because if you do, I'm going to make you regret it. We need to find the first at least. Where where are we for a start? What is this? So you know where she is? Of course not. That's why we're gonna look. It's quite a funny character, said. Using this airship. Uh, airship. airship. Oh snap. Ready to go. That I'm presuming that's what it's saying. Father, ready to go. Because I've compiled. I'm gonna actually start speaking the Al. Bad, you know. Right, yeehaw, eh, oh my god, eh. <laughs> I got no idea. <laughs> I couldn't get that second word. Alright, so we're just like right next to home. It makes sense. Riskberg, Winberg. <clears throat> Those flying things are everywhere. It's quite a cool looking ship as well. Whoa, it flies. Whatever you say. What's going on? Some hefty firepower, bloody hell. That'd be devastating. That was quite a cool sound effect as you heard them whiz like whizzing across the screen. Turn to sand. I'm going to stop reading them because. Hey, look, don't get so down. Boom! <laughs> like happy festival fireworks, yeah? You can cram your happy festival, you big meanie. You done blew it. You gone done blew it. And approaching like 
20 odd minutes, well we're nearly like 23 minutes, but for a lot of people now, this is where the game actually begins, we're on our airship, and I don't want to spoil it, but I agree this is, well no, I don't agree with where this is where the game begins, but it's no soon after this, it's going to stop being linear, and we're going to be able to do things when we want, what we want, like at our own pace, but, oh, look at, oh yeah, remember at the beginning of the game where it said you can push square to contract people for Blitzball, I want Walker, and I, it's, it's one gil for a game, so I'm having him for 99 games, 99 gil, alright, so yeah, i tell you who else I want, brother, see yeah, look at his bloody gil, right, hold on, how much gil have I got, set 200, I can sign him for 100 games, it'll cost 20,000, I'm doing it. Sign you up. He is one, from what I've read, he's one of the best Blitzball players there is in this. Right, so I've got Brother and Walker. Right, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Can I actually play Blitzball? No, that sucks. Right, so, yep, in the next episode, we're going to find out where Yuna is, and we're going to rescue her. So, I'll see you then. See you next time.